watching one magnificent morning, Saturdays on the CW. Hey, Will, I have a quick message. It's about safe driving. All right, let's go. Anytime you're driving, have the seatbelt buckle tight. Both hands on the wheel and your phone out of sight. But well, not in your hands, try to text somebody back. Because the teacher your car might get snacked. The moral of the story, just put your phone down. The people on the road will stay safe and sound. Put your phone down, put your phone down. People on the road will stay safe and sound. Yeah. <laughs> we now return to Tales of Valor. Good morning on the CW. They say opposites attract. Whether that's in science world with ionic bonding or in the service world with animal bonding. Sometimes different species will work together. Each bringing their strengths to the job at hand. Like in this next story, when a horse and a dog bond over the same goal. Serving their own. Take a look. Just outside London, Ontario, Canada, lives a 19-year-old Irish sport horse named Bono. Bono has a very calm demeanor. He's very, very easygoing, but he also has a great personality. He's fun, and he's he has so much sass. In the like when he's out with other horses, he's the boss, and he like will not be bothered. Um, but he's a softy when he's inside. Bono is a former show jumping horse, but he has now retired from the sport, so he spends his days doing equine therapy. Bono assists many people through the equine therapy program, but one rider specifically has built a real connection with the horse, a 19-year-old named Sarah. Sarah struggles with mental health and has a long list of diagnoses, including depression and bipolar disorder. And I also have generalized anxiety disorder with panic disorder. Sarah had a tough upbringing, and that has contributed to the insecurities and fear that she struggles with today. Her family moved around a lot and ended up in Brazil for 10 years, where she witnessed extreme poverty and violence at a young age. That was something that was a little scary, and that's something I'll always remember. Sarah struggled silently for many years due to the stigma surrounding mental health. It was only upon starting high school that she realized what she was feeling wasn't the norm. So when I started telling my mom about my mental health issues, I was terrified because um, I didn't know if I was going to be taken seriously. We, I started to find some help for her uh, with the doctors and that starting to give me a clue what is what was happening. After Sarah was diagnosed, she began to see her therapist to help her through her issues, but to no effect. One thing that did give Sarah solace was riding horses. One day, when her usual horse had the day off, she jumped on Bono for the first time, and it was an instant connection. I am Holly Heyman, and I am the resident rider and trainer. They just connected on an excellent level. Bono is an incredibly calm horse, and for a rider that has a lot of anxiety issues, they worked really well together. When I'm with Bono, I feel calm and happy. Um, it's easy with him. But it wasn't until Sarah met Diane from an equine therapy program that her life began to take a turn for the better. With Sarah, what's involved is it's experiential learning. So they're learning about themselves. We're putting them in working with a live animal, and we're processing what comes up for them in that whole experience. So what does he represent for you for this session? Something big that you're dealing with in your life? For me? Talk therapy did not work. With animal therapy, I can tell them things and let go of things the way I can't do with a person. So when I am feeling anxious about something specifically, Diane will make me lean up against him and try and sink her breath because then I'm focusing on anything else other than my nerves. Therapy with Bono made a huge impact on Sarah's life. She began to gain her confidence back and become motivated to better her life. After high school, she was accepted into college and at the same time began working for Holly at the farm. I was excited in September to start a new job. Like, this was my first real job and school. So this was college for the first time. But, unfortunately, it would all prove to be too much too soon. Sarah was unprepared for the anxieties that would come along with the responsibilities of going to school and having a job. Her safe place soon became a place she dreaded. She couldn't even bring herself to ride Bono anymore. My mental health got so bad that I think it just added negative stigma to the place. So at that point, when I was going to work, every time I would drive up, I would be an anxious wreck. Um, I didn't want to go anymore. So I stopped going, and I just didn't ride. 
Sarah decided to get herself a service dog, a great Pyrenees mix named Luna. So I got Luna. I knew just having her and giving me your responsibilities would get me out of bed and give me something to do. She's smart. I can always tell what she's thinking, how she's feeling from her face. She's so versatile and she's so adaptable. Anything new, she adapts so quickly. Getting a program service dog can cost up to $40,000 and can take two to three years to fully train. So Sarah decided to owner train Luna to help her deal with her anxiety. Papa? Oh, yeah. Her main task is pressure therapy. We have pressure points in our body and the weight of Luna helps um, trigger them and it helps bring my anxiety down, it helps bring my heart rate down, it helps with a lot of things. Just having Luna by her side gives Sarah the desire and confidence to do things that she used to love doing, like going to the mall or the movie theater. It's so liberating. She gives me the power to do things myself. Also gave Sarah the confidence to go back to school and she has made tremendous progress. I think I've done well for myself now that I'm at King's. I've made really, really good friends. Luna really helped break the ice. She even found the confidence to join the school flag football team. I never thought I'd be on a sports team ever because I'm not that athletic. When I start getting like bad, she runs to me and that's when I know like I have to take a break and I have to like use her to bring my heart rate back down. After 10 months since she left her job, Sarah deeply missed her connection with Bono, and Luna gave her the push she needed to go back to the farm. I had a lot of um, guilt about quitting, so I didn't want to go back, but Diane thankfully managed to help me get over that. And as soon as she saw Bono again for the first time, all her worries just melted away. That's what's so great about equine therapy, because they're so genuine that I can be genuine, and I can be myself. Sarah resumed her therapy sessions with Diane, Bono, and Holly. She needs to relearn how to guide the horse with confidence, which is a tough task for someone with her level of anxiety. Where she struggles is actually communicating back to the horse. When you stop your sentence, it conditions the horse that that is the desired response to stop your sentence again. Having both service animals in the room is proven difficult. Luna can sense that Sarah is feeling anxious and is trying to get her out of there which in turn is making Bono shut down and Sarah's anxiety to skyrocket. Then I started barking because I did get anxious and frustrated, so she was reacting to my emotions. Going out and doing that obedience with Luna, it helped me calm down a little bit, so I'm ready to get back on to this. It's been 10 months since Sarah has written Bono, and today she is working up to getting back on the horse. So I'm a little anxious. I'm worried that I'm not gonna be as good a rider as I was before. After the break, see if Bono and Luna can work together to help Sarah. All the things we worked on really helped me get my confidence back. We'll be right back after these messages. Lowe's is home to value. That's why we're introducing the lowest price promise with competitive prices every day. If you find an exact product from a qualifying retailer for less, we'll match it. Home to any budget, home to any possibility. What is that? It's bourbon bag. Give me some. No. You get Tommy bag. It's adorable. Just like you. Toby bag. Go for the handful.